hi everyone in this video i will be discussing about that how we can upload the hardware hash there are multiple ways and techniques which we can use which can make your life easy i will i am actually doing a lot of testing with the autopilot for the physical devices and virtual machines so i have explored a lot a lot of options which might be useful for you if you go through it i'm going to show you this six or seven scenarios to upload the hardware hash the very first thing is a very traditional way where we are going to install the script to output a CSV file and that can be uploaded into the, the Intune admin center. The second is go, I'm going to show you about the online parameter. If we use the online parameter, we can simply upload the hardware hash by using a command line without going to the Intune admin portal. The, the, the third one is offline generating the hardware hash. Offline generating means I'm going to show you that without installing the script, we can do this thing by getting the script from one device to another one and then executing it. The another one is I'm going to show with the append parameter which can keep on adding the uh, hardware hash from one device to another to the third one. So you have to manually switch between the devices to keep on adding the, uh, the hardware hash information into a CSV file. And then I will be showing you the group tag uh, parameter where you, you are not only uploading the hardware hash but capturing the information of group tag so that you don't have to do manually assign a device to a group tag for the uh, deployment profile for the autopilot. And eventually I'm also going to show you the, the last thing as an assigned user parameter where you can assign it uh, the autopilot, the hardware hash device information to a specific deployment profile along with assigning to a specific user. So let's begin. Let's begin with the first option. This is a very traditional way for uploading, for capturing the hardware hash and to upload it to the Internet Admin Center. Install the script get dash windows autopilot info. The script is installed now. Let me set the execution policy. I'm executing the command now. If I run the get dash windows autopilot in full, it is going to show me the hardware hash information. So it, it will just display. I need to capture it into the CSV format. To capture it, I'm going to use this parameter hyphen output file. See, I'm just capturing into a specific folder. Yep, so my hardware hash information is collected into ctemp. If I open this hiwd.csv, the hardware hash information is captured. You can see the serial number, the product ID hardware hash. So you, you might be seeing a kind of lot of information which is not purely visible to us, but this is what actually has been captured. And now I can simply go and upload to the Intune portal. I have logged on to the Intune portal. I can log into the same device or any other device. I just need the CSV file. That's it. Go to devices. Enrollment. Under Windows Autopilot, click on devices. Click on import. Specify the hardware hash CSV file. I can see rows formatted correctly one. So one device will be imported. It may take some time. So I just need to wait. After waiting a couple of minutes, I can see my device has been imported. I can verify from here. The serial number was 7593 ending with 92. I can see over here 75993 and ending by 92. Yep, I everything looks good. Let me delete the device because I'm going to show you the second option of importing it. In the first method, I showed you that I can use the get Windows Autopilot in info to output the file into a CSV and then I can use the Intune Admin Center to upload. In the second option, I will be directly uploading it with using the command online. With this command, the very first thing is it is going to install the uh, Windows Autopilot Intune module. It has installed other modules as well, which is required for online parameter to work. Now this is asking me to sign into the account. The moment I will provide the username, password, credentials, the hardware hash will be captured and will be automatically be uploaded to the Intune Admin Center. You just have to wait for a couple of minutes and the hardware hash will be uploaded automatically. Let's move to the third option. Uh, this time I have logged on to another device. 
on this device there is no internet connection so i would like to capture the hardware hash information for this device but hang on i can't install the script on this device until unless i have the internet connection so yes there is a way what i will going to do is will be capturing will copying the script that get dash windows autopilot info from the previous device and will be pasting to this location let's go to the default location where all the scripts gets installed automatically c program files windows powershell this is the location so if i open the scripts folder i can see get dash windows autopilot info yep that's it so i just need to copy it i will be going to another device i can paste the script at any location c program files windows powershell would be the best location if you are not, not able to copy you can copy it to paste it at other location as well let me copy and paste it into the temp location done navigate to temp folder this is here i can see the script is already copied and pasted let me let me run the set execution policy bypass as now i have a script i can simply go and output the file into the same location that's it so now i have another hardware hash information of a device with 4171 so this is the device i can simply go copy this hardware hash information can go and paste it into a device which has the internet connection maybe like this the previous one and now i have hwid the first device hwid 2 i can simply go to the internet in center and upload both the hardware hash okay what about if i have to keep on uploading the hardware hash from multiple devices so maybe just copying pasting from one device to other device for then the third fourth fifth device right it might not be easy so let's see there, there is a better way to do that so let me first delete this hwid2 hwid2 from both the devices so from first device i have a hwid with, which has the internet connection let me click copy and i am pasting into the second device now i'm going to append the hardware hash to the existing file so i'm going to use the same command get dash windows autopilot info output file hwid but now i'm going to use the parameter append just have a look the moment i do append what is going to happen current currently my hardware id that hwid csv file is of 8 kb so the moment i press enter the size changed to 16 kb so it means if i open this file in notepad i can see there are two entries now there are two devices one starting with 4171 another one with 7593 so i can keep on just copying this file from one device to another device using the append there will be a third device added then to the fourth one with a pen the fourth information will be added so i will keep on changing that hy id from my one usb from one device to another to the third to fourth fifth sixth so i can keep on capturing the information into a single csv file so once i have captured to from all the devices maybe 10 20 i can simply go to the internet admin center and upload that one single csv file which will be adding all those 10 devices now let's come to the fourth option now let's come to the another option where I'm going to use the group tag. I'm going to use the command output file, but this time with the group tag information, I'm using my group tag autopilot AU. Yes, the CSV file has been captured. If I open the CSV file, now I can see the group tag has already, uh, already been added autopilot au so what will be the benefit that now when i upload this hardware hash into my intune portal that group tag information will also be added so i don't have to to provide that information manually this group tag information works uh, fine with the online also so i used to keep on using the online and the auto the output file using both the categories so group tag these features usually helps me to save some time Similarly, the fifth option, rather than using group tag, this time let me use the assigned user. I can use it with the group tag as well, 
or without also so this time i'm just showing you about the assigned user information has been captured if i open the hardware id yes assigned user and information is being saved i hope the information the video was informative thank you so much